Five. With concern over violent crime on the rise, Republican state lawmakers are pushing for harsher punishments and more money for police across Illinois. And WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is here now with more on the plan and reaction from Democrats who control the state house. Taman. Ray and Micah, good evening. Crime is on the agenda for Springfield lawmakers this session. With Republicans painting the Democratic majority as soft on crime, leaders are showing openness to additional money for law enforcement and revisiting sentencing laws. In Springfield, Republicans and Democrats are drafting new legislation to confront rising gun violence, carjackings, and organized retail thefts. We'll look at anything that we think will help address the, the problem of rising crime. But it sure sounds like the Republican and Democratic proposals will differ. How many more people need to be shot? How many cars need to be hijacked? How many more people need to be murdered before the Democrats in this building do something? I would I'd welcome the GOP to the party. Uh, because they, they, they've been eerily silent and, and missing uh, up till now. Republicans are calling for $125 million in funding for law enforcement for body cameras, police training, outreach, and community policing. They're also pushing for stiffer penalties for aggravated battery against officers, violent gun offenses, and for providing guns to convicted felons. These measures are necessary to not only give law enforcement the tools that they need, but also to send a clear message. Go after our police and there will be consequences. The Democratic majority counters that over the last several budgets, lawmakers have appropriated funds for more officers, bulletproof vests, additional training, and for mental health services. Stiffer penalties by themselves don't work. What, in, what works is investments in dealing with the root cause of crime. The Illinois Fraternal Order of Police, which backs the GOP proposal, points to the recent killings of Wayne County Deputy Sean Riley and Bradley Sergeant Marlene Ritmanek as proof more must be done. These officers weren't just killed in the line of duty. They were executed. Enough. Enough of the war on police here in Illinois. Last month, House Speaker Emanuel Chris Welch told us he's optimistic the legislature will pass new anti-crime measures. Governor Pritzker, who delivers his State of the State speech tomorrow, says his budget should help address rising crime. Mike Henry. All right, more on that address then tomorrow. Tomorrow, thank you.